हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू अनदर ग्रैंड इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो ऑन योर लीन सेम चैनल एंड इन दिस टुडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड इन डिटेल अबाउट रीएनफोर्समेंट लर्निंग ओके सो वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ मॉडल एंड वी आर गोइंग टू यूज द स्क्रिप्ट्स यू नो इन ऑर्डर टू ट्रेन द मॉडल एंड देन वी आर गोइंग टू यूज अ ट्रेनड मॉडल टू यू नो गेट द रिजल्ट्स आउट फ्रॉम आवर फ्लेक्सिम सिमुलेशन मॉडल so stay tuned with us till end of this video and we are going to have subsequent parts of this videos on reinforcement learning okay so this is our part 1 and we are soon going to begin with but if you haven't you know subscribe to our channel yet do subscribe like it and share it with your friends okay so we are starting it up now so let us make a simple small simulation model okay which we will be using for training it using artificial intelligence okay so here is our source we have a queue we have a processor okay and then we have a sink simple line with four object elements okay so we are getting it from source to the queue to the processor to the sink this is how the thing goes okay so in order to create a global table we'll go in the toolbox and in that in a global table we are going to create one global table whose name we are going to change it as change over times okay change over times and that is what is going to be the most important factor or the driving factor in our this reinforcement learning tutorial okay so change over times we are renaming the global table to we are changing it to five rows versus five columns okay and what we are going to do we are going to enter a data into this in such a way that each cell is going to represent the amount of setup time required okay setup time required when processing different item types okay so for example if we are going to change from item type 1 to item type 4 we will be getting certain setup of time so let us enter this okay so i am just entering a data into this okay which you would be just looking into now okay so here it goes here we are going to have a 0 10 20 30 so let us assume that all these timings are in seconds okay so here it goes right and then 10 20 30 here it goes and then 10 and 20 and then we come in here with 10 okay and then similarly we are going to have here 10 and 20 and then 10 okay so if you just look at we have 10s here 20s here 30s here and 40 here 40 30 20s and 10s and zeros in middle okay so for example if we are changing type 1 item to type 4 item we are going to get 30 seconds of setup time been applied okay when we change from first item type to fourth item type we are going to get it 30 seconds as a setup time okay now what we are going to do is we are going to go in the properties of the processor and in the edit you know time what we are going to have is basically we are going to have the setup time been applied okay so we are going to tell what setup or when we are going to apply a setup on to our processor okay so basically here i'm going to refer a table named as change over times okay and basically we are going to keep this as the label as type we are going to just have it there okay so this is what you need to first change in a processor because what we are going to do is we are going to refer this look up from the table change over okay so now what we are going to go is we are going to go to the source table right and in the properties of the sources right what we are going to do is we are going to create a trigger here on creation right and what we are going to do is we are going to set a label and the color okay so set label and the color we are going to use and this what we are going to do is we are going to have a d uniform but from 1 to 5 okay so we have a five types of items been generated out here okay 
so here it is okay i'm just saving this model and i'm just resetting this so till now what we did is we created a global table for the changeovers we had applied a logic for setup time that is from table lookup in the processor and in the source we have you know uh, on creation trigger is created where we will be setting up the label and the color okay now what we're going to do is basically we are going to go in the toolbox in the statistics we are going to you know rename the parameter so let us duplicate this right and rename this parameter now okay and we are renaming this parameter basically to uh, what we can say is like the observations okay so our new name for the parameter is going to be observations so what we are going to observe is going to come in here observations okay now in the toolbox when we go in the statistics right so here when we go in the statistics we are going to go in the you know basically the model parameter table right and here what we are going to do is we are going to add another parameter with the name as actions okay so we have two parameters one as observations another as actions okay so here it is so we have this two parameters being set it up right and then what we are now going to do is for actions and for observations let us change this parameter to 2 and let us change this parameter to 3 okay so we have this 2 this 3 and this is 1 okay so what we are now going to do so basically what we are going to do now in this observation is we are going to rename these parameters okay so for parameter 2 we are typing as last item type okay so in observations we are going to type it as this okay and here what we are going to do is in the value we are going to set it up to the integer okay from 1 to 5 okay this is what we have done okay and now what we are going to do is in the actions of the parameters the parameter 3 we are going to rename it to item type okay we are changing it to item type in the value we are popping it up again here and we are setting it up to the integer and then we will set it to 1 to 5 okay so we will have that item type which we created to be observed in here okay now what we are going to do now what we has to be done is we need to click on the processor okay and in the properties of processor you need to go in the inputs and in the pull box you need to check it okay because now what we are going to do is we are going to apply a pull strategy by which we are going to get it the parts into the processor from the queue so what i'm going to do in the pull strategy let us pull the best item okay and now the question arises that what would be the best item right so we are going to type in something here now that is going to be our custom value okay what we're going to do is we're going to tell that item dot type okay is equal to model okay dot parameters which we created right and we're just going to enter and then in that what we're going to take is we're going to take item type okay an item type dot value is going to be taken okay <clears throat> so in the actions which we created right item type this is what so when the item type is equal to model parameter item type this will cause the processor to pull an item that matches the item type parameter if one is available otherwise it will pull the oldest item okay which is available onto the q1 so now let us reset the model right and run this right so we are going to get the exponential one stuffs coming in and you see different different colors coming in the green color is part type 2 blue is part type 3 the setups are getting applied and then 
the things are getting uh run okay so what we are going to now verify is okay that the processor is basically going to pull the red items if they are available that is what we are going to check now okay so if you could have looked in we had multiple parts in here but the processor pulled in the red one otherwise it is going to pull in whichever box was the oldest available onto the queue so it is pulling the red color box okay why because in the actions we are going to have it one and one is going to be our red color box which is okay so our model is working fine as of so i'll just reset this okay now let us go in the connectivity of the uh, toolbox and just click it on the reinforcement learning tab now what we're going to do in the observation space right let us select it as a discrete a space containing exactly one integer discrete binary or option parameter that is where you are supposed to use discrete in the observation observation we are going to use in here the last item type which we already created is going to be selected as a parameter in the observation space okay so we are going to check our last item type and what action we are going to perform we are going to perform an action that is going to be a discrete action what we are going to select the item type based on the last item and this will be decided by the reinforcement learning that is ai okay so now what we are going to do is we are just going to apply okay now what has to be done is when we go in the processor right so welcome to our website beaverchannel.com and you can see that we have lot of educational content just for you so the specialized content we have is you know discrete event simulation support you know then we provide you industrial engineering training then we have lectures for you and then we have blogs which are literally going to groom your you know skill sets and your knowledge then we have a very important aspect of our life that is health awareness related stuffs on your beaver channel okay so here here is our booking online appointment tab so in the home you will get the you know tab where you can book online appointments for you know if you want you know the flex simulation training you can book it here if you want you know uh, the support related to simulation projects that might be industrial simulation projects then you can book and take an appointment from here we will be discussing on that into this you know then if you want a support related to creation of 3ds model files which you can import in your simulation you know for better visualization we have that in here you can book the appointments from here you know if there are any simulation project support for engineering students you know for their educational purpose for their educational projects if they need support on then we are there to support you you can book your appointment from here and we can have a thorough detailed discussions and then we can take ahead the plan of how it has to be done then if you want the customized simulation model for your industry simulation projects for your you know engineering projects we can provide you customized simulation modules so you know to know this in detail book appointments now you know there are very limited slots available and it's the fastest thing you need to do is book online appointments then if you could look at we are india's first and only simulation channel you know we have our youtube channel available we have a dedicated playlist for you know simulation tutorials modeling tutorials we have a playlist for industrial engineering related stuffs you can visit our youtube channel from this and do not forget to subscribe like and share if you want to know about us it is available here here we have our scheduled events these are the upcoming events across our be aware channel so it might be our youtube channels it might be our websites it might be blogs so you will get a detailed info at the scheduled events and you can check our services here for detailed and more informative thing so i've taken you through our home page so we have a dedicated simulation page here you can explore here if you want any support in you can reach out to us from this or you can book the appointments directly because if you are going to reach out to us from here we are guiding you uh, to book the appointments indirectly so you can directly reach out to us by booking an online appointment then we have the training classes here if you want to you know opt for a training classes based on you know subscription we also have option for that you can you know visit and purchase that then we have you know the uh, modules in specific modules which can you you can buy you know, and th those modules you can use in your uh, industrial projects or your engineering projects then we have 
uh, engineering tab where you know uh, we are we bring in the content related to industrial engineering synchronization of different technologies and you know the uh, sync between simulation and industrial engineering so there's a lot to explore in this industrial engineering domain then we have also bought your personality development tab you know where you, we bring the content which can groom your personality help you develop upgrade your skill sets in a journey of job and career upgradements so we bring a lot of exciting topics onto this these videos will be released on our website first and after you know two weeks of time these videos will be uh, released on a youtube channel so it's better you visit our website daily to get recent updates then we have personal finance tab you know where we support you for you know managing your finances so that you are building a wealth with a strong financial background you know so the foundation needs to be st uh, strong for financials so this is a tab where you can you know explore our content where we share our you know views we share in tips which can help you manage your finances these all things you will be getting in engineering we have the you know best to the class blogs available ranging from you know simulation technology then different types of technologies industrial engineering finance personality development all these stuffs you will be getting in a form of blogs in here so we upload blogs daily visit our website beaverchannel.com to get maximum out of it and then we have health awareness tab where you could look into we are going to have a lot of exciting stuffs related to health we are still working on this guys we need your support give us a like share and subscribe because we are going to bring a lot of exciting stuffs which you will not get anywhere available to top notch quality so here you see we are bringing in health related blogs which are you know dedicated so that you live a healthy stronger and happy life we have organ related tips here and collagen spondylitis support we provide in and you can contact us in here so this is you know a overall high level journey for our behaviorchannel.com for services like simulation engineering personal finance personality development blogs health awareness and many more you know it's like having multiple you know uh, things under one umbrella so what are you waiting for do not forget to visit our behaviorchannel.com website daily so you groom yourselves upgrade yourselves and stay updated so thanks for this you know and do not forget to like share and subscribe to our youtube channel and visit our website beerchannel.com so see you in the next video